And I think we're seeing this. I think all, all across the world, this is becoming more apparent each and every day. The Chinese Communist Party decreed an end to freedom in Hong Kong, violating a UN registered treaty on the rights of its citizens. One of just many international treaties that the Chinese Communist Party has violated. General Secretary Xi has greenlighted a brutal campaign of repression against Chinese Muslims, a human rights violations on a scale we have not seen since World War II. The PLA has escalated border tensions. We see them today in India, the world's most popular populous democracy. We watch as it militarizes the South China Sea and illegally claims more territory there, threatening vital sea lanes, a promise it broke again. But the CCP isn't just a rogue actor in its own neighborhood. If it was, we might think differently about it. It, it impacts us all. It lied about the coronavirus and it led spread to the rest of the world while pressuring the World Health Organization to assist in a cover-up campaign. By the way, a failure of transparency that continues even today. Now hundreds of thousands of people have died and the global economy is decimated. Even now, months into the pandemic, we don't have access to a live virus. We don't have access to facilities and information about patients in December in Wuhan remains unavailable. It's pushing disinformation and malicious cyber campaigns to undermine our governments, to drive a wedge between the United States and Europe 